grand jury. It was the first day of trial of testimony for the murder trial of Daniel Perry. It began with Perry declaring his innocence in the July 25th, 2020 shooting. Guilty, not guilty. Not guilty, Your Honor. The court accepts your plea of not guilty. It then moved to opening statements. First up, the state speaking directly to the jury, explaining Perry intentionally instigated what happened that night. The evidence will show that Perry is the person who instigated the events that night. Um, through his unreasonable actions and his conduct, and it was fought, and in fact Perry who engaged in the unlawful use of force by driving his car into the protest march. The defense was up next. They say Perry shot and killed Foster in self-defense. And he believed he had no choice, regrettably, but he had no choice. He was in apparent danger of being killed. Two tenths of one second. He had no choice but to use his gun to defend himself. And that's why he carried the gun when he Witnesses were up next. First, a 25-year-old independent videographer who was live streaming the day of the incident. He was able to catch Perry's vehicle as he drove into the crowd and the gunshots that followed. I was prepared with the first aid kit and my instant reaction was to uh, run towards, you know, where I thought the person had been ran over in order to render aid. So as if shots were being fired uh, for myself, I ran to take cover. I was under the assumption that we were experiencing a mass shooting. The witness told the jury he did not see where the gunfire came from. When asked by the defense about an incident with protesters in October of 2020, a back and forth ensued. I do want to point out, if I can, that the Sorry. protesters present that day were different groups. Next witness, a rideshare driver. His dash cam footage was presented as evidence, catching part of the incident. And so this vehicle here is now making a right turn onto Congress. Is that correct? Correct. In his testimony, the witness did mention he made a 911 call about a man holding a rifle before the incident occurred. He said he was scared for his safety. It was chaos. I mean, it was, it was pandemonium. Um, people were running everywhere, and I was more concerned about my safety, getting myself out of there, before I was worried about where everybody was going. 